Is it up yet? And can you hear me? <laughs> Hopefully. I got too many boxes. Too many boxes. I got to do some rearranging here. Too many going on the floor. Hello to the few people that are in here so far. Sweet. Awesome. If you keep looking down, I got my chat on my phone so I can keep up with everything for the few people that are in here. Yeah, you're cold. It's cold here. It's not as cold as it was yesterday, but it's still cold. It shouldn't be this cold here until like January. So it's a slightly ridiculous. Hi, Sarah. Big dog, Josh, Wes, Stephanie, welcome. All you have is a space heater. What? You better turn the heat on, Dave. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get chat up here. Let's see. Make sure don't blow your eardrums out here. Pop out chat. And get rid of this. There we go. That's a little better. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is kind of actually my first time uh, using StreamYard. I did pay the one month fee to kind of mess with it and do the graphics thing and all that good stuff. And it's a lot easier to use than OBS, a lot easier. It only streams in 720, uh, but that's really all Jen's computer can uh, handle is 720, I think, with uh, the camera on it. But that's really all I was doing with uh, OBS anyway, because that's all it could handle. String Bean, welcome. Who else has come up? C4, welcome. Tyrone, welcome. Everybody. So I got a bunch of boxes. I got these boxes here too. Lots of boxes. I got these boxes that sat outside in the cold all of last night because I did not realize UPS delivered them at like seven o'clock. So they sat outside all night. And it was uh, like zero degrees out or something. Yeah, it should be all right. It's probably better than uh, melting them outside. And also, well, I want to show the front. I got a letter from uh, Dave there as well, which I think we're going to start off with the letter from Dave. Yeah, I didn't watch that game. A couple of things needed to happen for that game was I needed to win my fantasy fantasy game that I was that I had going on for my fantasy league. And he had two players and he needed to score about 14 points and he scored just a little over 14 points and beat me by like 0. 0.72 points or something like that. All right. I've had this letter for when did you send this to me, Dave? Like a while ago. I've had this for a long time. I've been waiting to get a big pile of boxes. Plus, I've been lazy and I haven't done a video besides work. That sucks, too. But I'm excited because there should be some artwork in here. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's actually uh, postmarked the day after my birthday from... Uh, Last month, so my birthday was in uh, October, which there's a box over here from Justin and Andrea over at Pop and Hand and Pop Chick that they sent me a birthday present. And this is my birthday present from Dave, is I get some awesome stickers. More stickers, these, 
saving the best one for last. This one is also awesome. These are going to probably be going on my sticker lamp I have down there behind these boxes. And the last one, and my favorite one. Hey, Larry, what's up? This one is my favorite sticker of all. This is this sticker is amazing. I love it. It's the best one ever. That one's definitely going on the sticker lamp for sure. And let's see what we got here. We got some uh, this is this is impressive, Dave. I like this. We got some uh, Captain Spaulding going on. That's awesome. Appreciate the artwork, Dave. I'm going to have to try to find a place to put that down there for Mr. Captain Spaulding. Rest in peace because he did pass away earlier this year. So that's pretty pretty awesome. Some of uh, I got finally got some of famous Dave's artwork. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Yes, rest in peace. And uh, not too long before he passed away, uh, my brother actually got his autograph at a con in Kansas City, I believe it was. He went down there and met him. So thank you, Dave, for that and the awesome stickers. We're going to move these up here. Got a little different setup going. I'm actually sitting in my kitchen, and my man cave, geek cave, is behind me now because normally I'm sitting... Right back there in the corner is normally where I sit. Duck Dodgers, welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't even know where to start with these boxes. I'm going to save uh, Justin and Andrea's box probably for the last because it's probably going to be the best box out of all of these. So I'm actually going to go with one of them I've had the longest. Which which one is it? I don't even know which one it is. That one I just got. I think it's this one. Yes, it's this one. This one is actually from uh, New York City Comic Con. And I was very lucky to catch this one on the restock. There was, oh, and if Stephen Carey watches this or is in here or sees the replay on this, your Venom will be coming. Your anti-Venom will be coming. It reminded me because he had a deal with Curtis from Mystery Pop Theater for this pop. And he ended up getting an extra. And I was going to get it. But then I caught the restock. So it all worked out. Worked itself out in the end. So what do we got in here? And hopefully no bubble wrap. And with my track record, I don't like that for what I've been getting. And I might go off on a rant about, uh, you can see what it is, uh, a rant on Hot Topic. Hot Topic. Ugh. But we got the Blunt Man and Chronic 2-pack from NYCC. Killer Glare, man. Killer Glare. There we go. That's a little better. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Let's check it out for condition. And it's got little itty bitty ding right there. Other than that, an, an almost tear down in the corner. There's almost a little itty bitty tear in this corner, but it's not bad for just. <laughs> I like that. I got one little foam pad to go in there. For ten bucks? No way! You left. I, you didn't tell me that. That's pretty cool. You did say you had a good time when you went down there, though. But yes, we got Blunt Man and Chronic, and it's actually pretty minty fresh for the most part. It's got a little weird, little weird kind of. It's probably not gonna pick it up. There's like a little weird indentation, but it's not like too bad. I'll count that as a win. We got a win right here. One of the few NYCC pops I got that's not too bad damaged. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it would have been cool to meet him. I didn't get a chance to go down. I think I was working, I believe. But uh, 
Uh, let's see. We're going to go, I think my Funko Shop boxes have been the ones that have been here the second longest. I have three. I opened my other one, which is, see if I can point at it. You probably can't see it, but it's this popper right there. It's the uh, glow in the dark uh, Venom Storm from the Funko Shop release. Which that pop is actually really awesome. Really, really awesome. So let's pick a Funko Shop box here and crack this bad boy open. Because, yeah, I wanted to check the condition of the storm. Plus, I was rearranging my pops. All my venomized pops are up in uh, the display there now. Yeah, even the common Venom Storm, Sarah, or Venom, common Venom Storm, if I could talk, is still really awesome. It's a pretty, pretty cool pop for a common. And as usual, we got the uh, good old bubble wrap up in there. Which one is this? Ooh, this is the, uh, I don't have the Bigfoots. I got Nessie, I don't have the Bigfoots, and now I have uh, Chupacabra here so we got chupacabra the glare is unreal up here there we go that's not too bad kind of a crazy looking uh dog thing there uh google what chupacabra means i don't think i want to say on my channel but uh go ahead and google that if you would like that pop is pretty sweet in the box Usually from Funko's, minty, little minty uh, chupacabra there. So that's another good pickup, which will go with Nessie, which I don't even know where I put Nessie. Nessie's down in that uh, cave there somewhere. Yeah, you m may be able to still get this one off of uh, the Funko shop. I don't know if it actually sold out or not. So it still could be available on uh, on the shop there. Move some of these out of the way. A little more room. It's another Funko shop from either a few weeks ago, a month ago. I'm not sure. I've actually even been very impressed with my patience on these boxes normally i just kind of tear into them and we got packed well again and a white sorter this time and i'm gonna just pile some more boxes over here what we got here is it a giveaway oop yep giveaway on this one too this one was last week two weeks ago Got some Tootsie Pop out. Little, little cardboard desk there, but we got Mr. Owl in here now. Saw a uh, meme floating around Instagram that had different versions of Mr. Owl, but the sucker was a different color. And I could actually probably see Funko doing that. Just uh, changing the color of the Tootsie Pop. I don't remember there, there being a yellow one. Was there a yellow Tootsie Pop? <laughs> yeah, those uh, jib jabs, whatever they're called, for uh, what uh, Dave and I believe... Uh, Brittany over at Cheap and Nerdy have been posting funny ones of those, too. So, yeah, my dancing skills. They've improved since uh, another video that I posted that, uh, from uh, Rock Band Night, I believe it was. What's up, peanut butter? Yeah, that's, yeah those are funny. Uh, we had, uh, there's, we got an Instagram chat with me and Dave and, uh, mystery pop theater and pop in hand and Josh and hashtag Larry now is in there and Dave blew us up with them. And I was rolling one night. It was, they, they're pretty funny. 
But yes, Mr. Rail. That was one that people have been waiting on for a while. He's a pretty cool, cool looking mold there for the most part. It's not very tall. He's a little stubby guy. Little stubby guy. And sit him. I don't even know. Somewhere over there. <laughs> yeah, my Dave, my, my other two boxes I left downstairs, so I wasn't tempted to open them. Uh, we will be doing a six-way battle. It will be on my channel between me, Curtis, Dave, hashtag Larry's joining us this time, Justin and Andrea, and Josh. We are just waiting because uh, Curtis's, two of his boxes are MIA and just kind of disappeared out of the uh, mail trail. So he's got no, tr or he's got tracking, but they it hasn't updated since like last Friday. And we got ours, I think we all got ours last week. So his are having a little bit of trouble finding its way to Arizona at the moment. So we will be waiting on that. So the time is to be determined still on the uh, the battle, six-way battle, and that is Hunt for Metallic Animal from SDCC. I'm getting the itch. <laughs> well, if he, we still can't figure out where his boxes are, he is more than welcome just to join us. He can uh, make his own mystery boxes to battle us with. Yeah, Josh, it just seems like his boxes are just gone. They just totally disappeared. Totally, totally. All right, we got one more Funko Shop box here, which this one narrows it down to. I know it's in this box now. And it's pink and fuzzy. At least I'm pretty sure that's what should be in here. Yeah, there we go, Dave. Send him some uh, five or some uh, Batman mystery boxes. I'm telling, just got an email from YouTube telling me to set my video to not made for kids, made for. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. I don't even know. Let me see something here. There we go. Doing fancy things now. This is my first time actually using this. I got the backgrounds and stuff down pretty good. But, uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Your videos are definitely not made for kids. Yeah, they've been changing a bunch of stuff, and it's... Box, box avalanche going on. Also, like, uh, if you use the eggplant emoji or the peach emoji, you can get your band on Facebook and Instagram. I don't know. It's ridiculous, really. So, yeah. I don't even, uh, don't even know what to think about that. This one doesn't give it away. Yes, it does. And I was right. We got Mr. Energizer Bunny, and last I know, I don't even know that this sold out yet. Does anybody else know if this is still on the Funko shop? Because I'm actually not sure. And uh, I had somebody point out to me in a chat that there's a mystery box company that has this as uh, one of their top hits in their boxes. It's like, I'm pretty sure you still go, still go buy it for $15 plus shipping. Pretty sure. Yeah, definitely, Dave. Definitely friends with adults. I'll post what I'd like as well. But this is, uh, this is the haul so far right here. Da, da, da. So, not so shabby. And the only downfall is I'm out of Shumi protectors. Shumi, get your shipment in. I need my protectors I ordered.
But uh, yeah, sorry. Checking my phone real quick here. And another, yeah, I think I am going to go. It's, I just got another email from Hot Topic. Hot Topic sucks. I know Box Lunch and Hot Topic, I believe, are owned by the same company. But so this, this whole, or, whole ordeal, which I think a lot of you went through, shipping this pop and t-shirt combo in a freaking bag. So no, Jetta... His came in a bag. Mine came in a bag. Hashtag Larry's came in a bag. Uh, pretty much everybody's I've seen has come in a bag. Why? Why do you got to do this to us? But the good thing is called Box Lunch, and same thing with hashtag Larry, called Box Lunch, said, hey, what's the deal, blah, 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 can I get a replacement? They go, hey, keep the damaged stuff, which the shirt's not damaged, which whatever, I was – more than happy to send it back. And then they go, all right, we'll send you a uh, brand new one, mail in a box. And then when they did talk to them, they were like, how was it shipped? So they noted that it was shipped in a bag. So I think they're actually paying attention to it, which is awesome because they should not be shipped in bags. Don't ship pops, any kind of pop stuff in a bag. Because I saw another horror story on mm -hmm. Dr. Applesauce's uh, – Facebook group that somebody posted in there about a Macari seller. So if you're on Facebook, go look on Dr. Applesauce's Facebook group on that guy's whole post. That's a whole nother level of duh really is. But back to the, the little rant box lunch took care of me. No hassle whatsoever. Hey, Hey, you this, this came damaged. What can you do for me? Well, this is what we can do. We can, uh, you can keep that. We'll send you a new one. Here you go. Done. <laughs> That's all there is. Hot Topic, if you, I know you guys are owned by the same company. Hot Topic's customer service, whoever it is that's been dealing with this is garbage. Got three damage stain pops. Was pretty much able to fix two of them because the boxes were creased. Was able to fairly iron them out fairly well. The third one was trashed. Sent it back to them. I get a $9 refund. Like, $9, it's... Not what I paid. I got charged like 21 something with shipping. So give me all of my money back. Defective product. It's like I work in retail. Somebody brings something in. We can defect it back out. We get our cost back for it. I'm pretty sure you can do that too, Hot Topic. I'm pretty sure this is not going to hurt you to go, oh, hey, here's your refund. We'll take this. Defect it out. Get our money back from the uh, vendor. Pretty simple. No, there. I'm going through PayPal now to try and get my money back, all of my money back from them. It's just ridiculous. So I just finally emailed them back and said, it's going through PayPal, so I'm done talking to you. So PayPal, please don't do me wrong here. Give me my money back. All of my money back for that would be amazing. But anyway, enough of the rant. Rant is done. Lost a lot of people on that rant. <laughs> so we're going to open another box, which is from, where is this from? Oh, I don't want to open that one yet. I want to open this one. This one, I believe, is from the HBO shop. So let's see what we got here. And the packaging feels like normal HBO shop packaging, which is not good. Yeah. yeah, it's like just two pops in a box with a piece of paper. But they use a fairly sturdy box, so that's all right. Let's see what kind of kind of damage we got here. Did I get lucky? There's a little scuffing from rubbing around in the box, but number one. Yeah, he's got some wear for not even shelf wear for not sitting on a shelf. But we got glow in the dark night king, which I did pull this out of the last duel from Chalice, but it does not have the HBO sticker. So now I have both stickered versions, and that one is actually in good condition still. What about the second one? The second one. Wow. I'm 
slightly impressed. This one's not really uh, right up here. And it's got some scuffing on the box from rubbing around inside there, but it's actually not bad at all. So that's uh, good. Bye, Dave. Have a good rest of your day. But so for just being a box and two pops, they didn't show up in bad condition, surprisingly. So we got these guys. And I need a place to put them. We're running out of room on the table. Okay, so now we'll go this one. This is the next in order. So this one is from Chalice. And if you've seen anybody else's videos, you know what is in this box that was a My Hero exclusive to them. Boom. Mario Togata. And hopefully I did not butcher that too bad. And their sticker is actually pretty freaking cool. So the thing with the sticker is I wish they would do this on all of them is it's pretty much tamper resistant. You try to take it off, it's leaving a film on the front of this to uh, try to do a sticker swap, which I don't know why you do it with this one, but you'd have to do a whole like film replacement on it. Yeah, Larry, let me write me on Instagram. We can, uh, I got one that I don't need now. I want to keep one with the other sticker and one with this sticker. So one is free game, unless my brother didn't get it. He would be the only other one that would have dibs. So uh, we can uh, work something out there. Wait. <laughs> Wes, do you need a better box? Because these are actually not bad. So let me know. And if you don't, Larry's got dibs on it. But yeah, the sticker on this one is basically tamper resistant. And they are serial numbered for this specific pop, as in the whole pop line for it. So they're not like individually numbered, but this number goes for this pop itself. And as always, Chalice... Good chalice protector, minty. I'm not going to take it out of the protector there because it's nice and minty. I'm going to move the Night King there. All right. So, yeah, Larry, if you still, uh, still need one, hit me up, sir. All right, I got three boxes left plus this box from Justin and Andrea. Over at uh, Poppin' Hand and Pop Chick, that is the good box for this one. One second here. All right. So to the nine that are in here still, appreciate you guys staying. And next box... Okay, so speaking of Justin, one of these is his because I was able to snag one for him when they went live. I'm just a little worried about these because they're like bowed up, so I don't know what – I've not ordered much from Barnes & Noble, so I don't know how well they pack or how well they don't pack. So let's see how lucky Justin and I got for these. Oh, wow. That's actually not terrible for a retail store. It's kind of smush off in the corner. Let's see how good it came here. Kudos on the bubble wrap. And pop number one with the ugliest, ugliest exclusive sticker ever. Doesn't look horrible. 
We got Metallic Silver Age All Might. That sticker, that sticker is horrendous. Please, Barnes and Noble, make better, better exclusive stickers. That thing is bad. Hey, what's up, Anthony? So we got Silver Age All Might. So box number one's good. So fingers crossed that uh, both the All Mights come because one is Justin's. You're going to put him there. Add to the stack. How you been, Anthony? Sorry I've not made it to a lot of the lives. Been busy, and sometimes I do creep. So I am there to throw in the thumbs up and uh, at least listen in on what's going on. And this one is... Oh, well, it's almost packed the same. All Might's just missing the bubble wrap around him. But that corner is not damaged, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed here. So we got two good ones. Yes. We got, well, he's, it's not real damage. It can probably be flattened out. It's a little, little concaved right there, but I think that take the pop out, flatten it out for a couple of days under something heavy. Boom, you're good to go. So we got not too bad of boxes, Justin. Not too bad, and that one can definitely be fixed. So, boom. Justin, when you watch this, since I know you've been working stupid, stupid hours the last couple of days, when you do get a chance to watch this, it's coming your way. Coming your way. So, my, my shipping bad luck has kind of ended a little bit with Silver Age All Might and Night King with the very little packing in there which was very strange and i got one more box that i know that's in there that spent the night outside in the cold which is a very strange sized box and this one came quick like super quick and the pop is actually for jim if I would have been thinking and a courteous husband, I probably would have got the uh, T-shirt in her size, but I got it in my size. Sorry, Jen, you get the pop. But we got, and this box is super cool. Oh, losing stuff. Oh, no, what is this? We got. Interesting. Wine voucher. But we got the prize Pizza Planet machine ready to launch Pop Tease Alien Glow in the Dark. This thing is cool. I haven't even taken it out of the box. I like this box, though. This box is awesome. Decla. It's Decla. Interesting. That's very, very interesting. Let's see. Let's pop this bad boy open here. Can do it without cutting into the box. So much plastic. There we go. I like this box. I like the design of this box. It's very cool. Now, how the hell do you open it? I should do it without destroying the box because the box itself is actually pretty cool. Right, we got these shirts, which 
Okay, that was in there kind of weird. Everything looks okay in there. I wish the shirt glowed in the dark, too. That would be pretty cool. And we got... Wabam! And it's upside down. That shirt is cool. At least I don't think the shirt glows. It looks like it would, but that's uh, that's pretty cool. We got the claw. Grumpy, what's up, Grump? Hopefully your computer is still not frozen from uh, the last live stream from a while back. <laughs> And for the pop, let me, I gotta open the box more. It's a very complicated box here. And Jen has herself a nice, minty, fresh, glow in the dark FYE exclusive alien. Which I believe is pretty much the exact same position as the common. He just glows. So that's pretty sweet. Jen will be happy. Definitely. Awesome. Awesome. Can't really, it's too light out. Can't really check the glow for you. So let me move some more stuff around here. It's kind of nice having a table, but I'm still running out of room because of how many boxes. I don't even know how many boxes that was. All right, now to the main events of the live stream. Let me move some of these guys here. There we go. That'll work. Surround myself with pops, and he sent it in a chalice collectibles, and he put a B on there. Is that for B Cobb? All right, so how's the tape kit on this? He uh, he's a good dude. I like Justin and Andrea. They are an awesome, awesome couple, awesome friends. Interact with Justin almost every day on Instagram. And he, my birthday was uh, October 18th, so it's about a month ago. Well, not quite a month ago, but he was waiting to get something because he was going to send it to me for my birthday. And he tried and tried and tried to get it, and he finally got it for me. So I know what part of what's in here. I don't know. He said he threw something else in here, and I'm not sure what. So let's see here. I'm going to let you peek first and see what we got. We got some bubble wrap. Can you see anything? Uh, uh. Let me see. I'm gonna do it this way. Ooh. Ooh, what do we got? To live and buy. We got a sticker. I like me some stickers. Stickers are always welcome. And we got. Oh, I see what the extra is at the bottom. That's awesome. Hey, we talked about that like months ago. But the birthday, part of the birthday present, we got the Corrupted Venom. And this one actually did come from uh, the con. So it was a very long story about how this pop came to uh, from California to Iowa. But... Thank you, Justin. That is, and Andrea, that is very much appreciated. That is awesome. Nice and minty. And a pop protector. So, the only downfall that I'm very angry about this is that Hot Topic did stock some, like an online pop up that they, uh, I did grab one then, but uh, I knew this one was coming. So, I'm going to be sending one back to Justin. I'm keeping the one that came from the con because uh, it was a gift. No, Larry, I need one of your stickers. And uh, peanut butter, I am not sure on uh, what's going on with that. I'm going to have to look into that a little more. But no, I do not have a hashtag Larry sticker. I need one in my life, sir. Please. And thank you. 
And the extra, which that's cool. <laughs> it's not a pop. It's not a pop. But he knows I like Venom and Carnage and any of the symbiotes things. It's not Funko Illuminati. And he actually asked me about this a while ago. And I had actually forgotten about it. And I think this came out of, yes, this came out of a BAM box. And we got a little bit of Carnage art here, if I can get it without the glare. So that is badass. And it's uh, 775 out of 2,500. The art of Brett Weldy. I think I said that right. But and it's signed right there. So that's pretty awesome. And that goes very, very well with the pop. Now I'm going to have to find a place to hang this too. I got some, I might know a place I can put this. That's awesome. Thank you, Justin and Andrea over at Pop in Hand. Uh, their channel's links down in the description, which I'm sure all of you are familiar with them, as long with uh, this gentleman here that uh, drew me Captain Spaulding. David, Big Dog Dave, his link is, should be down in the description as long as... Uh, StreamYard posted everything it was supposed to when I went live. But yeah, that uh, that print is pretty sick. Thank you for the birthday gifts from last month. I've had this box for about a week. I was gonna try to I was gonna open it on the live that we did with the uh, six way battle, but uh, that has been postponed. As I said earlier, yes, that's awesome. I am. Pretty happy about these. Came from the con and came from a band box from California from Justin and Andrea. That's very much appreciated, you two. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow, I opened all of those boxes. That was a lot of boxes. And now I have a huge mess that I need to clean up before Jen gets home. <laughs> and I get strangled for opening all of the boxes. Ooh, what do we got? Got a notification from Shumi, which I would. The one thing I wish Shumi did with his push notifications is it would actually go into what it was like the actual push notification was supposed to be about instead of just going to the home page. But uh, yeah, Shumi's got something going on. He's pops, shumistore.com. Use code BCOP, Seamus plug on the live stream, doing it. And my mom's apparently watching. I just got a, uh, a message from my mom. Apparently she's watching. Oh, it's not going to. My box loving son peeping in on you. So my mom's watching. Hi, mom. Everybody say hi to mom. She's lurking in the background. <laughs> Say to, say hi to mom, Mama Cobb. It was Mama Cobb, not Mama Cobb now, but yes. So I got that was a I should have like split that into like twelve videos, but the live was fun. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. I'll do a little recap here of everything I got before I go. So we're hitting about the forty five minute mark, and I'm gonna I got some boxes to clean up. <laughs> let's see here and let's start from do, 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 do. what did I open first we'll just go with a recap of picked up some HBO shop glow in the dark night king which I believe one is going to go to hashtag Larry now so that was pop number one that was received today and we got some Funko shop goodiness with uh, Chupacabra and next we got some more Funko shop goodness with uh, Mr. Pink Flock Energizer Bunny 
And we got a Barnes & Noble exclusive with the ugliest exclusive sticker ever. Silver Age All Might, which that glare is still very horrendous. And I did get two of these, and one is going to uh, Justin over at Poppin' Hand. And a pickup for Jen. With Mr. Glow in the Dark Alien. FYE exclusive. The pop and the shirt combo, which the shirt's mine. I'm keeping the shirt. We got the claw. I've been chosen. All right, and on to this side of the table. I'm gonna move him right down here real quick. We got Mario Togata. I believe I'm saying that right, hopefully. I need Sean Ryan to correct me. Exclusive from uh, Chalice Collectibles with the uh, coolest sticker around. We got the worst sticker and the coolest sticker right in the same picture. Right there. All right. And we got Mr. Funko Shop exclusive, Mr. Al. Like I said, I've had boxes piling up forever. Forever. And then one of my favorite pickups from the day, which I wish I would have had this when uh, Wes and I went to Jason Mewes, well, it's almost been a year ago, actually. But when we went to his comedy show at a local comedy club, we got Blunt Man and Chronic here, which for not having any padding in the box or anything, the box is really nice, which I need to hit up somebody's seven bucks a pop link and get some uh, two-pack protectors because I got, I think, five now that need to be thrown in some kind of protection. And the second to last pickup was this is probably the coolest box ever. Actually, wait a minute. I already did this one. Ah, uh, derp. But that's a cool box for the claw. This is where I would edit the video because B Cobb did a derp. Edit movie magic. Can I do that with a live now? And the last one, actually, now as that falls over and pushes buttons. We got Corrupted Venom as a birthday gift from Justin and Andrea over at Pop in Hand and Pop Chick. And this one did actually come from the con. And he did a lot of work trying to get this for me. So it is much appreciated. You guys are awesome. And he sent me the surprise print here from the BAM box which I'm actually, I need to get this frame now, definitely, and find a spot to put it, which now all of my Venomized Pops are up in my uh, display right back here, and Ninja Turtles on the top. Can't really tell from this camera because it's kind of poopy, but that was the recap of everything from the huge mail call, and I got that sticker from them as well. More stickers, and the other awesome stickers, I guess, Best sticker ever belongs to Dave. Best sticker ever. Right there. Best sticker ever. And Artist Alley again. Cat and Spalding. I'm going to have to find a place to put that. But I believe that's... Uh... Hey, you made it right at the end. Or are you still working? Are you on break? They're... Uh... Justin, I just went over the recap of everything. And I thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's uh, very, very appreciated. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's been busting his butt. Busting his butt. Hopefully uh, you don't have to stay as late today and you go home and uh, spend some time with the little, wee, little, wee little one you got and the wife. But I believe I am probably going to cut it off there. 
And like I said, too, be on the lookout. I don't know if it'll be this week because we're still waiting on to see where the hell Curtis's boxes went because they are <laughs> off in limbo somewhere. Hit the Bermuda Triangle and disappeared. So we'll be waiting on that, and then we'll be doing our six-way uh, duel from Stop, Pop, and Roll, Search for the Animal House Box, I believe is what he called it. Oh, you got two more stops than yesterday. Excuse me. That is terrible. How about you go, hey, I'm going to park this in the neighborhood. Everybody come get your stuff. I'm going home. That sounds like a plan. Have them pick their own shit up. But thanks for stopping in. If you didn't, hit the like button. Thanks for everybody that uh, came in, chatted a little bit there. It was kind of just an impromptu live stream for me because I was tired of looking at these boxes. Now I'm tired of looking at these boxes piled beside me and all of the trash. So I am going to clean all of that up and... Try to find places to put these things because I'm out of room to put all of this stuff. This room back here is not big enough, and I finally got it rearranged. Actually, well, you can't see it. I have my glow-in-the-dark pops right down here now that I have an idea for, but we'll see. And I've never done a room tour, actually, and I need to do that. Because Sean Ryan asked me to do that like a year ago. <laughs> But thanks, everybody. Thanks, hashtag Larry, and we'll talk on Instagram, I'm sure, for Night King there and whatnot and all that good stuff. So, as always, everybody, stay awesome. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Peace.